Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we're going to be shooting 12 gauge shotgun rounds at our computer hard drives. This includes a 15 millimeter ball bearing, a 17 millimeter glass marble, a good old one ounce wax slug, and finally a three inch magnum deer slug. As our guest shooter today, we have Baron, not Darren, <laughs> And he is a viewer, and he wanted to come out and shoot with us, so we said, Hey, come on out. And, of course, this is part of an ever-growing playlist where we shoot various guns at these computer hard drives. Okay, ball bearing number one at hard drive. Hit it. Wow. Okay, so let's see how many hard drives it went through. And and Darren, I mean, I don't. He must have like the eagle eye or metal detector fingers or something. Something like that. This is a 15 millimeter ball bearing, still in perfect ish condition. Oops. So there's the first hard drive. He hit the platter, which is good. You usually hit want to hit there, but that's okay. Still punched it. Very clean hole for a ball bearing. That's one. We got the number of these things too. Two, and it's starting, you know, carrying debris through. A lot of breakage. And then the third one, it, it just put a big dent on it. So that's still pretty good. Yeah. Still ball bearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of energy. Yeah. Ordinary marble, what will that do the hard drives? Just glass, nothing special, let's try that. Come on, load. Yeah. Come on nothing fancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at all that glass, it's like that's a trip. Yeah. Why why did it stay in there? I don't know. So it went it didn't go through. It it broke the housing, but that's it. Still pretty impressive for a yeah. freaking glass marble going 2000 feet per second. Wow, that's cool. The wax slugs, it's you can see it's lead shot held together with wax. We'll see what those will do. Any ideas, any guesses how far the wax slugs will go through? We're going four. Uh, I'm gonna go two. I'm gonna agree with Jeff. <laughs> I said it'll end up in the third, but the second will stop it. Okay. Wax slug versus hard drives, when are you ready? Yeah, that might be good. And that one, that'll be the final one. Yeah, you still see some of the wax, yellow wax on it. So it went. Obviously, you won through the circuit board, through the disc, through the platters. And then here's number two. Stopped on number two. So it, it I mean, it. <laughs> there's the head. Huge. Yeah, just bulge out the back there. And then dented number three. So, uh, what do you think a, a deer slug will do? The three inch deer slug. I'm going four. Four? Four. Yes, I'm going to say four also. I'm going to say five. No, I'm going to say three. I'm going to say five. What about you? What are we shooting? Your <laughs> slug. And then finally, three inch magnum deer slug. Like here. Okay, hit it. Them all down. That was a good one. I think he hit it. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to do it this way. We'll line them all up. So it went through the first one. Nice big clean hole. You hit a little low, but I don't think you want to shoot that thing again. Was it pretty brutal on the shoulder? Yeah, if I was standing up, it would be easier. Oh, okay. It's hard because you have to line it up with the Can't the plane it. of this. Yeah. There's two, three, look at the size of that. It's just... Hey, it fires a better 
Oh, there's some magnets. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then four. Together. There's the. That's all the slug right there. And Ouch. nearly, nearly busted out. And then, dented. like number six, it dented it. That's five. Or five. So it went through, almost went through four. Even number six had some damage, collateral damage. Things are mean, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh. good enough, man. <laughs> And now we'll look at the high speed footage, this is 600 frames per second, and this ball was screaming. We love this round because it is relatively accurate. Now a lot of people have said, hey, that's you're just making a musket ball, but a musket ball is made out of lead. Lead is completely different, different properties than hardened steel. This is relatively light, it's only about 12 grams, but uh, it definitely screams through the air, probably close to 1500 feet per second. For an improvised round, it's rather effective. Now, the reason we added the glass marble to this list was because so many people wanted to see it. We knew it wouldn't have a lot of energy because it's pretty low density, only weighs four or five grams, made out of glass, so it's rather frangible, but uh, it's still interesting results. Now, just like the ball bearing, being round, it's, it flies uh, pretty straight and didn't have any problems hitting this hard drive from about oh, 15, 20 yards away. Now the wax slug is an interesting round. It's a improvised round where you take the bird shot, mix it with melted wax, and it becomes like a homemade breaching round. Now the wax itself is just strong enough to hold this concoction together and when it hits it just dumps all its energy and that's pretty much demonstrated here it more or less makes a very big crater when it hits and not much comes out the other side the three inch Remington slugger round is just one of the nastiest most miserable rounds to shoot it kicks like a mule has a muzzle velocity of 1750 feet per second it's a big fat rather soft round so it did go in pretty well but it did break apart after just a few hard drives now we're compiling a series of these videos and we have a playlist for it if you're interested in seeing what different rifles, different calibers do to these computer hard drives, please check it out. We'll be shooting more of these things because we have a lot left. Come on, nut fancy. <laughs> <laughs>